So for a little while now, I've been wanting to improve the sound stage of my lovely little maker studio here. However, I've just been a little bit lazy to get to it. Now, don't get me wrong, it definitely does sound okay. I've got these panels here, and in fact, these two panels above my head are doing so much, it's insane. In fact, I have six of these to go up, but let me just show you why these need to go up. Without them, this is how the room sounds. It is sounding horrible. And that's that I'm using a lapel microphone here to try and mitigate this absolutely disastrous sound. Now, let me get those back up because it's a little bit too much to carry on talking with that. Now, why has it taken me so long to get to this point? Well, it was just a little bit tricky to think of a design that would hold all four corners, yet at the same time, I would going to be able to screw it and slide them in place. Don't know why it took me so long, but this is the final design that I came up with. Now it's super simple. It's just a key lock mechanism like this. It means that I can put three corners up and then that final one just push and slide into space. And that's exactly it. I've also created myself this lovely little guide here. Man, that light is so bright. That's gonna let me put the last two screw holes so that I know where this is gonna go as well. But before I go and do and putting all that up, let me just show you exactly how I created this inside of Blender using CAD Sketcher. And also a small portion of this video is sponsored by PCBWay. So here I am at my computer and the key near of you must be going, hey, but you sound great right now. Well, that's because honestly, I have a shotgun microphone, literally a fist away from my mouth to sound this good. And I want the rest of my workshop to sound at least a little bit more comparable to it. And that's why I'm doing this. So let's dive straight into Blender here. Here's the file. I'm going to show you it's all made out of three sketches, two cutaways, one building one. And if you want a step by step guide, so line by line, constraint by constraint, that is down in the CAD Sketcher crash course. If not, we're just going to explore the project in this video and you can get this file completely for free in the description. So I'm going to jump into the base here. I'm going to go for the top down view. So pressing my numpad and seven and now you can see what I've basically done here is I created myself a construction guide of this right here. The sound panels have this lovely bevel to them. So I put that inside of a sketch. So inside of the sketch, here's that bevel right there. I turned that into a construction line, then just put a line across, constrained this all fully up. And it was quite simple as you can see. So from there, I went and solidified that sketch. So let me just undo all of this here. So the first solidification comes from here. We solidify it upwards. This is fill, doesn't need to be anything. I do it in the positive, so it's going upwards. And then from there, we have the next solidification, which is one of the most important ones. This one here pushes it outwards. So I'm gonna add this Boolean right here because I wanna show you that this here, this is what controls the thickness of this. So with that there, there's a very important setting. You've got to make sure that this is even thickness, make sure that it is fill and make sure that it is only rim. If not, it's going to break when you try and do booleans with this. In fact, if I just turn it off right now, you'll see right there. If I go into face, you can see that breaks right there. However, if I have that to only rim, it fixes it. So it's just those little settings that you've just got to keep an eye for. And then we've got this last little Boolean over here. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Boolean is the cutaways. Go to your edit preferences, look up Bool tool, search Boolean on Maker Tales. It'll teach you everything about it. So how did I do this inside cutaway? All I did was go to the base sketch, select everything, press control C to copy it all, make it a new sketch. And then inside of this new sketch, I just changed all the dimensions here to be 20 instead of 30. And I also push this out just a little bit more. So it was a nice, simple Boolean. From that there, I just solidified that, used that as the cutting object, and that was it. Now we get to the keyhole cutaways. Now the keyhole's a little bit more complicated, but not much. The most complicated part here is that you've got to use a whole bunch of construction lines to tilt these keyholes to actually be in this angle. Apart from that, it's actually relatively simple. It's just an arc, another arc, and making lines and making everything as constrained as possible if you want it all to be parametric. From there, all I did was I got this one. I solidified it with an offset of zero, so it's coming up 
upwards and downwards, use that as a lovely cutting object, and that was the end result there. Now remember, to get this for 3D printing, select it all. You can try to just apply this on the file export STL, and then it will automatically apply modifiers. It can sometimes go a little bit weird though. So I select it all, press Shift D, drag it out to the side. I'll select this here and then click my apply all. This is modifier tools, free add-on inside of edit preferences over there. Click apply all, that should do it there. Then I can just delete these away. We can grab this, go to the 3D print toolbox, give that a check, and there you have it, perfectly ready for 3D printing. So now a quick message from this video sponsor. PCBWay is fueling innovation with their affordable, high quality services. From PCBs to CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and all sorts of 3D printing. They have it all. Discover what PCBWay can offer your maker projects by clicking the link down in the description. And a big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now, thanks to the modern miracle of high-speed 3D printing, I was able to get 24 of these done overnight and a little bit into the morning. Truly, it's changed the way that I look at 3D printing. If you want to find out more, it's down in the description for what I'm currently using. And now, let's get these all up onto the ceiling. I've got my little guide here, and I'm going to let you hear a before and after with a lapel mic and the shotgun mic, so you can just hear how much echo there is before and after. So that took a little bit longer than I expected. In fact, it took about four hours. And as you can hear right this minute, it sounds horrible without anything up there. So how about we get them up so you can hear a before and after. I'm gonna go through my lapel mic and the shotgun mic that I have set over there. So here we go. A, a massive thank you to my patrons. Truly without you, I would truly would not be able to do Maker Tales. If you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue. Wow, that is insane. That's got rid of all echo. This is now an echoless room. That's crazy.